Well, hey, good morning. Good morning. It's a good day. It is a good day, and I'm happy that you're finally joining me outside. Typically, yes. I'm outside, and you're warm and cozy in the <laughs> studio. So I'm glad that you're out here with me. Well, I'll tell you what, you really served it up for us today because we have done our Gift of Joy downtown gift drop for a number of years now, and it is generally really frigid out here and today I, I don't know we're in the 40s right it's we not are. that bad or it might be is it upper 30s now or are we in the 40s our temperatures have dropped a little, a little bit. bit so you can feel a little more of that crisp cold I like feeling, it but it's not bad it's not bad I have you know one glove on one glove off but we're, we're bundled up because we were watching the weather can I say though that uh, Diane came and sat down and I said I smell something really good Diane has lavender in her hand warmers. Yeah, I'll pull one out to show you. And they, they smell so good, but it's really getting us. I feel like we're really getting into we're that. Relaxed. Look at this. So yeah, I made these. We'll have to talk about these you, when we get inside. Leave but. it to Diane to make her own hand warmers that have lavender in them. I love it. I they love have it. rice, and sometimes the rice gets a little like weird smelling. So you gotta so. put some lavender in there. Yeah, but I do have an extra <laughs> pair inside if you need. Awesome. Them. So I'm. I, you know what? Uh, right now we're doing great. It is feeling like we are in the holiday spirit out here, though. E you know, it's cold enough. It's yeah, cold enough to get us in the spirit because we're collecting gifts today. I was going to say, we forgot the reason of why we're yeah. out here. We were talking about the weather, which I feel we, <laughs> that's my favorite topic, but it's gift of joy day. Yes. Like, we're doing this. So excited. We've been talking about this our, for a number of days, a couple weeks really at this point, and uh, we're collecting go toys for children under the care of Lucas County Children's Services. So I love this. This is one of my favorite things that we do here at WTLL 11 because these kids really are deserving of, you know, the most normal kind of Christmas that we could possibly give to them. So, yes. and the morning has been spectacular, it's been spectacular yes. already. And I know that there's, you know, some excitement. So we're going to have a lot that's going on. Here I think I hear a ho, ho, ho. Oh, I hear a ho, ho, ho. I think Santa has arrived. We're going to check in with him, I think, here in a little bit. Oh, I got a chair yeah. for Santa. Yeah. Oh, Merry we can Christmas, make room. Man. Santa. Santa, we just talked to you a little bit ago, oh. like, you know, a couple weeks ago. So oh, I'm glad I was, that you I was a, were able to come. That was terrific. Thank you for inviting me back. Well, yes. yeah, of course That's we're going to have Santa back. Uh, okay, it's 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 Christmas. It is. It's officially, yes. it's officially Christmas. Oh, it's the Christmas all year for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're round work. You're here, round. You're here to help, you know, gather the toys for absolutely the absolutely bring the toys in for the, all the children it's the greatest time of the year giving is the best part and this is your chance to give to the children oh, I love this so much having Santa here we're totally in the spirit okay so what we need you to do is come to our station here we're at the corner of Summit and Cherry downtown Toledo yep. and just drive through the parking lot it's that easy and you don't even yeah. have to get out of the car you nope. Santa, Santa might do it I had to get out of my sleigh but I it's it's okay but you're here bring to your have sleigh fun with bring us. your car bring your toys it's all for the children. It is. And we have already had some really great donations so far this morning, haven't we? Yes. I was out here with, even before the sun was up, kind of seeing all the toys. And uh, seeing, I didn't see the ones that you brought, so I'll have to check out we'll the We'll have table, to check those out. I saw um, Connect 4, Barbie, Frozen. Oh, boy. Um, what, those are my favorites. Barbie, you is could, Barbie is big. Barbie, Barbie is always nice. big. Hot Wheels was there. We talked Hot about Wheels that the last big. time That's you right. were here. Right. Squ uh, Squishmallows we talked oh, about. Oh, yes. Yep. Uh, those you know who's big there. this year? Blue. Bluey. Bluey's Bluey. really big. The children yes. are just Bluey. He's oh. a, a cartoon dog. He's, he's, he's Wait, very like good. from Blue's Clues? No. No, oh. that's, no, that's, no. That's he's the Australian <laughs> dog. <laughs> oh, I'm glad Santa's here to kind of get me knows. up to speed oh, here. He knows. I'm out. <laughs> oh, the children have been telling me, if you haven't told me yet, come and see me sometime and tell me what you want. Yes, yes. He'll, he'll hook you up. We, we've got the hookup right here. Okay, but we had, as we mentioned, we've had some really great donations already today. And one of those came from the United States Postal Service. So check this out. Check out this drop off earlier this morning. We heard Merry Christmas. Right, like what is Santa that? Claus, right? What is that? But it's pretty <laughs> close to Santa, okay? We have Rochelle Roy. She is here with other letter carriers from the Dow. That's what makes this so significant because we deliver to homes that have foster care kids. So why not hit them where, where they at? And we appreciate you so much because, you know, um, you saw this right on TV. You knew that this was going yeah. to happen, yeah. and you all made it happen. And you came here. You all, you didn't have to do this. You came dressed festively and everything. Why did this feel so important to you personally? Because we are. Well, 11 gates are open. We want to walk you through the process, how easy it is to bring that.
All right, so, okay, what, what do we bring? So thankfully, our helpers, <laughs> the elves that we have here. The little elves. So this is Bluey, because I'm, I'm new to this there you go. on Bluey. So it looks like, yeah. So it looks like somebody uh, at Children's Services is going to be very happy yes, because we have it's Bluey. A bowling it's a bowling set. set. How much yeah, fun is so that? For those who are, you know, talented. And look at look at all the characters here on the back. So cool. Yeah. Oh. Keep it coming, folks. Yes. You're bringing great stuff. We have an enormous Barbie. Oh, my gosh, yes. Let's, let's get let's this here. Barbie in. Look, look at this. How happy is the kid going to be on Christmas when they open this? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm excited myself <laughs> to see this. This is huge. So we thank you already for oh your incredible generosity, but we know you're going to keep bringing it all day long. we got to check in now with Michael Sandlin because he's been uh, seeing how things are going so far at the drop-off. Um, what, what have you got going on there, Michael? Oh. Hey, uh, I'm just hanging out over here uh, during this season of giving. You know, there's more people that we want to highlight, and, you know, I'm just sitting in this little car right now, and there's a, there's a reason for that. I'm actually joined by Glenn Mazzoni, who's uh, hey, over buddy. here hanging out with me. Glenn, so why are we in these vehicles right now? Give me a little bit of uh, more information well, about this that. this is kind of a kickoff for the Toledo Grand Prix, which is going to be a benefit for Food for Thought, which is an innovative local food bank here. We're going to be doing it, hopefully, here on Summit Street, the 18th, 19th, and 20th of August. Uh, we're going to have all kinds of races. We're going to have races for these. We're going to have races for these. We're going to have public races for four-stroke carts, a little bit slower, a little bit tamer. Um, we're going to have races for the media. We're going to have races for first responders. We're going to have races for community community leaders. Um, and like I said, we're going to have lots of public racing. And then for these, uh, the pro carts, we're going to have $10,000 to win championship races. And we're going to raffle off a brand new Corvette. And second prize, which some people may actually think is the better prize, is a trip to the Monaco Grand I'm free where you can go and party on a yacht. Well, I want, you know, both of those things. I'd love a Corvette. You I'd can't love a trip. because you're ineligible because you work for the station. Well, I'm just saying I would love it. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying I would love it. I would love to give it to you, buddy. But here's what uh, you were telling me that this is going to be 80% of the proceeds are going to be going to a local food bank. Tell me a little bit more about who all that money is going to be going to. I'm sorry, there's a truck going by. Uh, I guess a Food for Thought is an innovative local food bank. They actually respect their clients. They never turn anyone away. And they, uh, they have respect for people's taste buds. They have as much fresh fruit as possible. Um, they don't have a, a fixed location so much. They have a, a small facility over on Hill Avenue uh, connected with a lot of industries. But they go around, they, they do these drop-offs drop to people that need them. And it, it's great. Um, I saw a story on Channel 11 a while back, and we were looking for a charity to partner with for this event. And I saw Tanya and, and the way they do things, I said, this is for me. This is for us. This is uh, somebody we want to want to team up with, um, and it's just great. And Tanya's just a wonderful. Unfortunately, she's feeling under the weather today. She was going to try to join us, but. Um but it's good. It's a good deal. Well, I'm glad that I was able to join you in this little race car. So for people that are interested in going to this, just kind of paint them a picture of just what they'd be seeing when these little cars are on the track. Well, uh, of course, the public will have a chance to race, too, in the uh, in the four-stroke carts, which go about, uh, we'll probably have them set up for about 60 miles an hour. They're capable of going a little bit faster than that. Um, and then we'll have the VIP area and, excuse me, uh, some public areas where people can see, and they'll see some, go, go and go, go with, uh, some cars going by. And it'll be about as close as you can get when these are running to an Indy car. These go from zero to 100, back to zero in just over nine seconds. They corner at 3 G's lateral acceleration. It's as close as we mere mortals will ever get to an Indy car um, or a Formula One car. It's it's really quite amazing. It's quite a show. And like I said, um, unlike you know other people have tried to do uh, karting races here in Toledo, but it's um, always been kind of an elite thing. And we're going to have you know the community leaders and all that. But the general public is going to get a chance to race. We're going to have an enduro, a two-hour uh, team race for the general public, and then we're going to have a whole bunch of public races. 10 minute, 15 minute sprint races where people can come, 30 bucks, come out and, and try your luck on the same course. It's going to be a ball. Super, super exciting. Top speed for people in need. I'm going to toss it back to you guys, but reporting downtown, it's Michael Sandler, WTOL. <laughs> all right. Hey, we've got all kinds of great things in our parking lot yeah. today. And there's so many more surprises that I'm sure will mm -hmm. pop up uh, yep. today. Of course, the, the United States Postal Service, that was a surprise for yes. us to see them this morning. Um, of course, you know, Santa, Santa showed in. up. That was a surprise. Yes. So I'm sure there's going to be a bunch. So you're going to want to keep coming back through the drive through all day long because you never know who's going to be here. You never know. And again, we are at 730 North Summit Street. It's right at the corner of Summit and Cherry Street in downtown Toledo. We've got this big sign out on Summit yeah, Street. You so you, you'll know where to turn so that you can come in. You can drop off your toys for the kids. We're going to be here all day long. So, okay. And 
you know, we've been saying it's not terribly cold it's outside, not. but for folks who are coming to drop off their toys, they don't have to worry about what the temperature is. They yes. can just stay in their heated cars. Yes, on the heated seats. Maybe yeah. you'll have them on this morning uh, weather-wise. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have our hats and our gloves on. Yeah, but I mean, it's December. Yeah, but I also made just a special forecast for Gift of Joy. Thank because you. Because we will have temperatures <laughs> that will be in the 40s for us. So that will be great through the day. The daylight hours, though it will be cloudy much of the day, we are still going to have that mild feeling. Even even as we break it down hour by hour, you'll see that when that sun is up, though it's hidden behind those clouds, we'll hold on to those 40s, but we will have 30s once that sun starts to set. So this is kind of the time to get out here, here this morning into the afternoon, but of course we'll still be here till seven o'clock to drop off those toys. Currently though, it's still feeling like December outside. A lot of our temperatures here in Northwest Ohio are sitting into the 40s, but Southeast Michigan, we have those temperatures into the 30s still. So some cooler spots, but overall not too bad. You will find on radar though, because we've been monitoring the chance for some rainfall today. So we do have rain that's stretching all the way from the southern portion here of the Buckeye State and even into the Central Plains. That, however, that's going to miss us. I know it's hard to believe, but you will see it on the WTO wall and weather app. And it's not going to be headed here. You'll actually find there in the Central Plains where you see a little bit of that pink and blue. Well, that little bit of energy is going to be moving on in. Let's look at that hour by hour forecast. See what I'm talking about. We have the cloudy skies in for today so those will be here all day long you will notice that lake breeze and yet we're going to be holding off on the rainfall until later on tonight we'll have a little bit of a slight chance for that but it's really into friday that we're going to be picking up the chance into the afternoon and evening of those rain and snow showers so a little bit of snow may try to stick there in uh, southeast michigan but Overall, shouldn't be too impactful for your Friday night plans. And then as we head into, well, the shopping season, I wanted to give everybody a heads up. It's 17 days till Christmas, but you got to shop now because we are doing, you know, the toy drop right now. So make sure you grab those toys and head on downtown. Of course, though, as we look at that full 10 day forecast, you will find today we'll have temperatures into the 40s, cloudy skies, and then we have that rain and snow chance as we head into Friday. Temperatures are going to stay, though, steady into the 40s through this whole forecast. Dry weekend, so it's great for those plans. And as you head into next week, we're watching another system that will be here around uh, the middle of next week. So just something to keep an eye on. But I know, Amanda, I saw during that forecast, you were also eyeing those toys over there. I was. <laughs> you know, we, like we mentioned, we've got all of the, the big things. So, you know, your kids at home want, these kids want the same thing. So when you're out shopping for them, as Diane said, it, you've got good shopping weather. Get out there, pick up those extra toys, come back and see us. We're going to be here the rest of the hour, of yes. course, here for good day, but we're going to be here all day long, too. Yes, and I do know of a few surprises that we have coming in the hours. Yes. Make sure you stay with us. We'll have those surprises coming up right after the break. And it wouldn't be the holiday season if we didn't hear from Sherry LaFontaine. So she's going to sing for us a little bit later on this hour. So stay with us. We've got more good day coming up.